I think confidence is the most important thing. It's the most important thing, and I think it's one of the hardest things to attain, you know? Because it's not as though we live in a world that fosters our self-confidence. You know, we're consistently bombarded with advertisements day in, day out, that say, hey, you know what, you're not good enough unless you have this. Or you're not good enough unless you own this. Or you're not good enough unless you look like this. You know, and people start thinking, oh, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're... And they start to believe it, and it's such bullshit, you know? Because advertising is such a powerful tool. It'd be so cool if we could use it in a really positive way. You know, just had like giant advertisements that just said like, you're f***ing awesome, or like, you're a divine being, or you're whole, just as you are, you know? I'm not comfortable in all situations, so it's weird putting me in front of a room of people and trying to, like, be comfortable, because I'm just, I'm not, ever. I'm putting myself into a situation where I wouldn't be comfortable, aka uh, stand up. And the thing is, it, I'm not funny, and I feel like everyone knows that, <laughs> and that they're placing me in this situation just so that uh, I'll look like an idiot. I don't think anything can help with my social anxiety at this point, so uh, like maybe I'll just like completely block this out in the future, or I'll talk to my therapist and explain how this didn't help me, how this completely took it in the wrong direction, but uh, it's, I think it could help, like I'm hopeful. I wanna show people how, how I think on the inside instead of how people see me on the outside, which is not good anyways, so it's, uh, they'll see that I'm bad on the inside and on the out, so that's what I'm looking forward to mostly. <laughs> I don't know when I got social anxiety per se, like when it started. I know that I wasn't this pathetic uh, in grade uh, eight and before, at least I tried to be social. But ever since grade nine, I think it just went straight downhill. And ever since then, I'm, I'm not good at talking in front of people. I overthink too much, I think. I can't text people very well. I can't talk to them without like an idea in the back of my head thinking that I'm bugging them or I'm pestering them or they're talking to me just because like they feel bad which is so high school went really well. I prepared for my stand-up by going to Yuck Yucks a few days before my show and just to get what it's all about and see what people are like when they're actually up there which is when I saw Adrian Fish. She was talking about confidence and like that kind of it kind of inspired me a bit because like She's up there and she's doing it. And that's what I've always wanted to do. I want to be able to speak freely in front of people and not worry what they think. And she was just up there and it was amazing, actually. I uh, called Adrian Fish, even though I'm terrible on the phone. And uh, she, she gave me a little bit of advice, trying to calm me down a bit. Those nerves generally will disappear once you walk on stage. They're your you know, you start picturing like the what ifs, right? Yeah. What if I'm not funny? What if no one laughs? What if I blah, 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 the list goes on? And that's what starts to freak you out. Whereas once you're on stage, you're no longer thinking about the what ifs, you're in it. So you're better able to deal with something when you're experiencing it versus when you're feeling anxious about a future event. I was feeling pretty confident until uh, my dad showed up. Uh, I saw him standing across the room from me, so I walked up to him and asked him what he was doing because I thought someone might have told him that I was doing stand-up. And he said, I'm just here for the show. And he asked me what I was doing. And I just said, I am the show. I'm doing this today. I cry myself to sleep every night because I enjoy it. <laughs> oh. And plus, it, uh, it keeps Kleenex in business. <laughs> and crying into socks is just weird. <laughs> when you go from zero confidence to some, it's like an infinite boost. So, it has changed me. Like, I haven't, it hasn't fixed me, but I am better. You know what I mean? Because 
it made me realize some things. Like I'm not as bad as I thought I was. And it kind of just helped, I don't know. It's hard to explain.